What do you think about my face? How do you look? How do you think the um, foundation looks? Now, baby, let me ask you a question. So, well, no difference. No. <laughs> <laughs> would you know the difference if it was like a good looking foundation or a bad? Would you know the difference? I don't know. I understand why you get you got a red tone for, but you know that's you. This one doesn't have a red tone. I know. I said I didn't understand you told me what's the red tone. No, this had a yellow. Okay, so would you like me to explain? No. No. Okay. But I just wanted to know how you, how do you feel the foundation looks? I think it looks pretty. That's it? That's, That's it. all it's okay. So, uh, That's all you're getting from me out of my head. You suck. I love you. I love you. So have a great day. You have a better day. I'm gonna try. Amen to that. Amen to that. What's up, my beautiful dreamers, and welcome back for another video with your girl, Shalinda One. I got my hands on it just for you guys. This is the new Marc Jacobs Shameless Youth Look 24 Hour Foundation. For those who have been with me for a very long time, you know that their old school genius gel formula, this foundation was baby dada. Just because I love this one so much, I'm wondering, how, you know, I, what's up, how you doing? So I got the color in Deep Y570, and this is the second to the last darkest. Um, according to the website, they have 29 um, shades, which is a little frustrating, because it's like, if you have 29, why not go ahead and just knock out that 30? Just gotta like squeeze that 30 on up in it. I got Y570, Y for yellow undertones, 570 as far as the color. Um, anything that is under the red tones will have an R. Very good. Yes, it will. This has 1.8, no, this has 1.08 fluent ounces. Most foundations have a pretty clear cut off at 1.0 fluent ounces. So believe it or not, we get a little bit more in this than other packages. God, I can't hold it. It keeps sliding out of my hands. The only thing with that is that I'm a, okay. I'm gonna say this real quick. I don't know if I love the packaging, just because I feel like we will. There's no way to get all of the product out of this, which is probably why they added that additional 0 .08 fluid ounce for that you're not gonna be able to pull out of this. Maybe I don't know. It says that it has a medium coverage skin types for sensitive, normal, dry, as well as combination. The finish is natural. You, know, you guys know I love a natural finish. The SPF of 25. An innovative, medium, buildable foundation with 24 hour wood and first to market, flashback free SPF 25 for a youthful look. This oil free, weightless foundation provides buildable, medium coverage that blends seamlessly. The patented Infinity Milling process produces. Super fine pigments that result in the most natural looking self setting finish, which means you don't have to set it. Okay. Less product on the face. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. It's sounding pretty good to me. Pretty, pretty. So you got it too. You did the Shayla too. Pretty, pretty girl. You did it too. And we're going to go straight into primary. I just want to spray my face one more time. I love this spray. Oh, I just love it so much. And I'm going to prime. I'm going to use my Fenty um, primer. Way too much, but, you know. Okay, so being that this has medium coverage, which clearly means it doesn't have a lot of coverage, I am gonna go ahead and do a little bit of color correcting, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I know I look crazy, but just focus, focus. Half of me wanna put it behind my, on the back of my hand the way I always do. Then the other half think that if you're gonna have something this easy why not just apply it directly to the face so what i'm gonna do is have one side a beauty blender the other half a brush i'm like barely squeezing okay i'm doing too much okay stop okay so i'm going with the brush first because the brush is closer to me and uh, here we go now remember this is a this is a dark this is the dark with yellow undertone and basically what i'm doing is I'm patting the foundation in first because I want to see if I can build up color. Let 
I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just going to kind of like just dab on top of it. Okay. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. It's definitely not full coverage. I can still see some darkness down here. I can definitely still see that even though I did color correct. Not bad. It looks like my skin. It does. It looks like it looks like my like healthy skin. This is with using a brush, going over a little bit with the sponge. And this is my real real. <laughs> I can see, oh, why is that happening? Can you see it's like over here? Like it's creating lines. Like as soon as you put it on, you need to get the blending. But for some reason with the um with the brush, it didn't do that. Did it? No, I don't see it. I didn't do that on the other side. I wonder why. Why is acting all finicky now? You, I, you get more of a fuller coverage, in my opinion, with the brush than a sponge. Do you agree? I mean, it's slight, but I do see a difference. I see a difference. So I think at this point, I want to go in, back in with both sides and see how buildable it is. But this is what it looks with, looks like with just one application. Not bad. I have to say, not bad at all. I'm gonna go in with one more application and see what we get. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. For 46, oh, I didn't tell you. Yeah, this crap is $46. For $46, I want better packaging, but I'm not mad at how you can just put it right on your face without having I, I'm not I'm, I'm not mad at the way you can apply it I'm not I ain't gonna lie now if you have really um I don't want to say good skin but if you have skin without discoloration the way this looks right now I feel like this would be something that's really good for like day to day going to work stuff like that because this just gave me medium it gave me a fuller medium coverage I'm not gonna lie I don't I don't dislike it it has its own level of luminosity if you can see up here it's that natural look it's not super matte it's not super matte at all. It does have some luminosity. I can still see discoloration though, guys. So this is definitely a medium coverage. This is definitely almost like a fuller medium coverage. It, to me, it goes from sheer, sheer to light medium, and then you can build it up from light medium to like a fuller medium. But it's definitely not full coverage because I can still see a little of my discoloration coming through which is kind of okay because remember we're gonna go over maybe put on some concealer and the when you can see a little bit of your natural skin peeking through it's actually kind of nice I feel like it looks like my skin especially over here especially over there I feel like it looks like my skin hmm. I'm not okay guys so my face is complete and uh, yeah this is the way it looks one thing I will say about it right now is that it works well with others um it didn't it it you know once i put anything on top of it it didn't move or anything it still looks really good the shine that you see you know what that is <laughs> that is this right here i just love it down the uh t of my face is what you see i put on no highlight at all and I decided to skip the lashes for today. Um, as far as smile lines, so far as you can see, it's there a little bit. It's not as bad as the majority of my foundations, but it does crease a very little bit, as you can see. I wanna see how it wears for the rest of the day. We're doing another wear test. We're doing another wear test. And it, 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 don't be surprised at seven o'clock. Come around. <laughs> Seven o'clock, come around. You know how we do. You look. I right, no apologies given. It is now 1:34 in the afternoon. 1:34, and I'm going to come back tonight, 
how this bad boy held up. Okay, let's see you guys soon. What's up guys? So it is 727 and I am back. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up because I can pretty much tell you how I feel about this foundation and uh, I'm ready to take it off my face, I'll tell you that. Um, several hours later, as you can see, my smile lines are definitely there. Believe it or not, it's not as bad as others, I'm being honest with you. Um, the thing about this foundation, what I would say is that it looks pretty from afar. Like if I went into my bathroom and stood back from the mirror, I'd be like, oh my God, it looks really pretty. However, when you get close up, I do not like the way this is sitting on my skin. It's like I have texture that I didn't even know I had, if that makes any sense. And not only that, but I don't know if you can really see right here. Like, it might look good on the screen, but it almost looks like there's like a, like a plastic on my skin. That's what it, like, have you ever played with plastic and you stretch it and you know it has a little line? That's what my forehead looks like. And you know, like, it's just texture on my face that I'm just not a huge fan of. It doesn't feel necessary. I don't, believe it or not, I don't feel like I have a lot on my face. I don't feel like, like the Bobbi Brown foundation. I felt like it was really heavy on my face. I don't feel that. Um, what I will f say is that it doesn't quite look cakey, but it's cakeish to me for me and that's another thing I don't like and I think I don't like it because remember I went in with two layers this just didn't work for me so it is a pass for me for $46 this didn't do what I needed it to do and then to wear it in the way that I think is favorable you is basically a little heavier than a tinted moisturizer that's the way I look at it, or like a BB cream or something like that. Like I want to take my favorite foundation and use it very lightly and I feel like I'll still get this. It looks way heavier than it feels. Um, but that's all I have to say about the new Marc Jacobs Shameless Youth Youthful Look 24 Hour Foundation. Unfortunately, it is a pass for me. However, I would love to know how, if you've tried it, how do you feel about it? And if maybe you made it work in different ways. And Thank I you so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. You definitely want to subscribe so you never miss another video with your girl, Shalinda One. Pressing the bell and joining the notification gang so you never miss another video with your girl, Shalinda One. I need you guys to go absolutely everywhere and follow me at Shalinda One. And I love you guys so much. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye, guys. Question of the day. What is your current favorite foundation? I know you guys was expecting me to ask you about your thoughts on this foundation. But if you've tried this foundation, put it below. Give us all the tips. However, what I really want to know is what is your current favorite foundation? Hook us all up. We all want to know. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.